This is the video, How to Obtain a Service Animal and Service Animal Fraud. This video contains descriptive video service for use by the blind or visually impaired. The video fades in with the words Governor's Council on Disability arched over the top right of an outline of the state of Missouri displaying the state seal. Next is a panel with the words, How to Get a Service Animal. Video fades in of a handler using a wheelchair and accompanied by a service dog. They approach a large building. They then enter a restaurant where she smiles as she turns to face a server. Service animals can improve the quality of life for people with disabilities by providing guidance and physical or emotional assistance, such as helping create personal space when in public for those suffering from PTSD. A golden retriever walks at the feet of his handler, who is using a white cane. The narrator's text appears over an out-of-focus photo of a service dog in a harness, holding an item in his mouth. There are several organizations that provide service animals for Missourians. The process of applying for a service animal may differ among organizations, but each organization usually requires a two to four week training class where you will be matched and trained on how to effectively work your service animal. A service dog is shown wearing a harness with a service animal logo on it. The same dog walks beside his handler down a hallway. If you qualify for a service animal, the Americans with Disabilities Act requires that service animals must be harnessed, leashed, or tethered unless these devices interfere with the service animal's work or the individual's disability. The narrator's text appears over an unfocused photo of a black, long-haired dog sitting and looking up at his handler, who is standing behind him. In that case, the handler must maintain control of the animal through voice, signal, or other effective controls. If you believe that you could benefit from a service animal, visit www.assistancedogsinternational.org slash location slash Missouri for a listing of service animal organizations. A title box appears with the words service animal fraud. A photo of a service dog wearing a harness with a guide dog leash leads his handler down a sun-covered sidewalk, which fades to a photo of a sign containing the words working dogs are welcome but pets are prohibited. People who utilize service animals do not always have a physical disability that is visible to others. Therefore, some people try to pass off their pet as a service animal. This is fraud. Text appears over an unfocused close-up of a curly-haired dog resting in the lap of a young woman who is relaxing on a couch. As the text diminishes, the photo comes into focus and zooms in on the dog's face. This fades to a photo of a person using a powered wheelchair being led by a small dog on a short chain. Emotional support, therapy, comfort, or companion animals are not considered service animals under the Americans with Disabilities Act. These terms are used to describe animals that provide comfort just by being with a person. Because these animals have not been trained to perform a specific job or task, they do not qualify as service animals under the ADA. Narrator's text appears over a photo of a hospital entrance with a sign in the foreground indicating the direction of the emergency and main entrances. However, some state or local governments have laws that allow people to take emotional support animals into public places. Please check with your state and local government agencies to find out about these laws. The Governor's Council on Disability can be reached by telephone at 1-800-877-8249 or by dialing 573-751-2600. It can also be reached at one of the following websites, shown with all lowercase letters, gcd-at-oa.mo.gov or disability.mo.gov forward slash gcd. For more information, contact the Governor's Council on Disability.